Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about a telescoping series. Um, and we're going to calculate the series n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared plus m. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually find the sum of this series. The way we're going to do this is we're going to look at 1 over n squared plus n. Notice I could factor an n out and have n plus 1 remaining. We have to do a partial fractions decomposition on this. So if you've seen integration by partial fractions, this will seem familiar. If not, it may seem a little less familiar. But what we're doing is we're going to break this single fraction down into two pieces. We put the first factor n on the bottom. Then we put the other factor n plus 1 on the bottom. And we'll put just an a on top and a b on top. And then the idea is, if I can figure out a and b, maybe if I do get common denominators, I'll get this right back. The way that we simplify this is we multiply both sides by, <coughs> by, um, excuse me, um, n times n plus one. So we'll do that to both sides here. So that's my bad notation here. So if I distribute it way over to the left, I'll just be left with one. On the right side, I'll get a. The n's will cancel, and I'll have n plus one left over. And then b times the n plus ones will cancel, and I'll just have n left over. So to figure out a and b, um, we can just be clever. If we let um, n equals zero, notice on the left side we'll get one. On the right side, we'll just get a times one. So we'll get simply that a equals one. Likewise, if we let n equal negative one, we'll get one on the left side. We'll get zero on the first part. We'll get negative b. So it says that b is going to equal, well, negative one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug these back into our series. So again, I could rewrite one over n squared plus n as the series one over 1 over n times this quantity n plus n. So a little sloppy here. Um, and I'm going to plug in my a and my b. But it says we can really rewrite this as the series a over n plus b, which is negative 1, over n plus 1. OK, so again, we're calculating this from n equals 1 to infinity. OK, so. Let's start expanding it out and start writing out a few terms w of our expansion. And I think you'll it, see the pattern pretty quickly and can convince yourself what happens. So if we plug in n equals 1, notice if I plug in n equals 1, we'll get 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2. That'll be my first term. Plus, then I'll have to plug in n equals 2. I'll get 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 plus, I'll have to plug in the n equals 3 term. So I'll get 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. Maybe I'll do one more. n equals 4. I'll get 1 fourth minus 1 fifth. And notice this pattern is just going to continue on forever and ever and ever. Well, what's happening? Notice every time I'm getting a negative 1 half immediately followed by a positive 1 half. So that'll cancel out. Then I immediately get a negative one-third followed by a positive one-third. Well, that's just going to cancel out. I get a negative one-fourth plus a positive one-fourth. That'll cancel out. If I were to keep expanding it, the negative one-fifth would cancel out. Everything else would eventually just get, keep canceling itself out forever and ever and ever. So it says the only thing that we're actually left with is the front part the number 1. So we've actually shown that this series simply equals 1. And they call it a telescoping series, I think, because if you've ever seen the movies, you know, when they had the old telescopes that you would kind of pull out and um, look through, the idea is everything, you collapse it back down, and that's really what's happening in this series. Somehow everything's collapsing together and canceling out, so I guess that's why they call it a telescoping series. Okay. But in this case, our series will just converge to the number 1.